What's up? What's good? What's problem? What's cracking? What's name? really good in the hood. It's your man, Theo Butler. I'm going to talk to y'all about something. It's kind of funny to me because I know sometimes people ask for stuff that they really, really don't want. So you know how it is. I got two stories. Man. I'm sorry. I got two stories. Two topics for the day. Giving people what they want and giving people what they want or need. So the first one, let's talk about. And I just saw that this is really in Leon County. Like we're really doing this stuff. Okay, so in Leon County, we have Nikki Bradley. Principal, former Appalachia Elementary. <laughs> this is the stuff that we be talking about right here. And this is the stuff that's really, really, I find interesting. Okay, so Nikki Bradley, principal, Appalachia Elementary. She made a post on social media. For a while now, I have felt like the ringmaster of the... I'm just going to say she probably said shit show. Um, today has done me in. I do not want to be ringmaster. Someone come get the monkeys and all the circus friends. Hashtag exhausted. Hashtag go away COVID. Hashtag I'm going to bed. Now, I live in Tallahassee. This is where the school is at. The school is in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, I'm just going to say most of the kids that go to her school don't look like her. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Most of the kids at that school do not look like her. Most of the kids at that school look like me. I'm going to say it one more time. Most of those kids at that school do not look like her. Most of those kids at that school look like me. Watch this. My oldest daughter went to Appalachia Elementary School. I know quite a few kids that went to Appalachia Elementary School. I'm going to tell you what they said. She was told, when your post was brought to, first brought to my attention, I asked you to remove it and did so, and you did so immediately. Leon County Director of Elementary School, Sue Crawl wrote. However, it was seen and did create a concern among the staff at your school. So what did they do? They reassigned her. They reassigned her to Kalarn. They reassigned her to Kalarn Lakes Elementary. Most of the kids at Kalarn Lakes Elementary don't look like me. <laughs> they don't. So here's what you did. She made an inappropriate comment. Mind you, if nobody sees it, she's not being punished based on what I just read. And this is from WCTV. This is crazy. She's not getting punished. No one is going to make her go anywhere and do anything because they asked her to take it down. She took it down. Nobody sees it. No harm, no foul. The thing is, is you can't cover up what's in a person's heart. Okay, she... She, she takes it down that she still feel that way right she still feel that way yeah okay she could have just left it fine talking about she was tired of being the ringleader of the circus show it's 2020 just like governor Ron DeSantis went and told his constituents don't monkey it up Someone come get the monkeys. And all the circus friends. Now, who's the monkeys and who are they circus friends? I got questions. Who are the monkeys and who are the circus friends? I got questions. But this is where you went, Leon County, where you know we at. We in the 850 Tallahassee, Florida. You know what she meant. You're going to sit around here and try and make it sound all good and beautiful and everything like that. Try and make it seem like it's an innocent statement. Monkeys and their friends. And where did you do? You reassigned her. This is what happens when we have piss poor leadership in the, as far as adults go. They do dumb ish like this. They say dumb ish like this. And they basically try and cover up dumb ish like this. Gloss over dumb ish like this. What we do with Nick Cannon. We fired him, right? 
Yep, that's exactly what I thought. And so now it gets down to this, giving people what they want, because they literally gave her what she wanted. She wanted out, they gave her out. No suspension, just transferred. White folks in this country, eh, it ain't all white folks. It ain't even most of them, but you know what? My grandmother always told me something as a kid when I was growing up. She used to come home complaining because some of the kids up the street didn't want to play with me. Some of the kids cross town didn't want to play with me. Some of the kids around the corner didn't want to play with me. You know what my grandmother used to tell me? My grandmother used to tell me straight up. Stop worrying about them. They don't want to play with you. Don't play with them. Find, either find you some new friends or go play by yourself. Now, see, that's what I'm saying to the African-American community because we got a lot of people over here in America love to tell us if we don't like it, just leave. Bet game. What happens if we leave? If every, if every person of color that calls themselves black, African-American nigga got up and left America and took all our shit with us. And when I say all of our shit with us, I meant all of our shit with us. No, you don't get Dave Chappelle. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> we taking that off. Hell no. No, no, no. Hell no. You don't get Chris Rock either. Hell no. You ain't getting Kevin Hart. Hell no. You don't get none of that. You don't get no Prince. No, nope, you don't get no Prince. You don't get no Isley Brothers. No, hell no. No Temptations. Hell no. No Michael Jackson. You don't get access to none of that. None, none, none of that. We taking LeBron James. We taking Michael Jordan. Um, we Yeah, here we go. We taking Patrick Mahomes too. Yep, show sure is. Show sure is. We taking Patrick Mahomes too. Good luck having your National Football League the way it is. We not going to be there. We taking Lamar Jackson. Yep, show sure is. We taking everybody. We taking we take we taking Ezekiel Elliott. We taking Dak Prescott. We taking everybody. Yep. No. No more. No more Harlem Shake. No. No more of our dances. No. We taking all that. You got to do what you got. You got to do what you came up with. Stuff you 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 do that. We taking everything. We taking all of our culture. We taking all our music. We taking all our athletes. We taking all of our leaders. We taking all our entertainment. Yeah, yeah. No Beyonce. Hell no. Hell, hell no. Ain't no uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't no more to the left, to the left. Ain't no more, ain't no more of uh, none of that. Ain't no more apes. Ain't no more nothing. We taking Jay-Z. Ain't nothing. Nothing. You got Eminem and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and hell, because he's a rapper. We taking him. We taking the Beastie Boys. <sighs> we gonna let y'all keep Vanilla Ice though for attempted murder on a rap career. We not gonna. We not gonna do that. We not gonna. No, that that they have, No, we bringing Vanilla Ice too. But no, we we bringing them because that's part of our culture. You gonna have to do all that other stuff on your own. Yep. You gonna have to get in where you fit in. Don't no more Jackie Robinson. We snatching all that. Yeah, them. The, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All the Celtics. All the. Do what you gonna do without us. Now see, watch this. That's really not what you want. Y'all talk tough, but that's really not what you want. I know I didn't piss some of y'all off by saying that. I'm like man, damn, we just gonna leave. what? That's segregation. You racist? No, 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 no. no. I was raised. That if somebody ain't gonna treat you right, you leave their ass alone. <laughs> if they not gonna treat you right, after you tell them that they not treating you right, you leave their ass alone. So yeah, that's that's a powerful message in and of itself. I ain't got to play with you. Watch this. The NBA, the players in the bubble showed y'all that last Wednesday. Y'all almost acting acting a nut. Like, honestly, you want football this year. But you don't just want football. You want me playing football. I ain't got to do none of that. Remember, you don't want me here. Remember? I can get up and go. If I ain't happy with things, I can just leave, right? Yeah. My brothers and my sisters. I echo the sentiments of my grandmother. When somebody don't want to play with you, do right with you and everything like that, do right by you, you leave them the hell alone. 
You either learn to go play by yourself or go find you some new friends. If you can't find you some new friends, you play by yourself, right? That's the message to us as a race of people. That's what we would do to one another. What's so hard? It's not impossible. There's enough money between all of us as a people to take care of us as a people. We've done it before. History is wrought with stories of us taking care of ourselves as a community, as one. And what do they? What normally happens? They get mad. It's kind of crazy because I actually had this conversation with a friend one time, or a former friend of mine, until um, I'm just going to say peer pressure from his from the people that looked like him pushed him away but even he was concerned about that idea he was like Theo that's not right I said what you mean not that's not right if white people not gonna do right by us why why associate with them why don't we just go away and just do our own thing that, that's what we've been that's what we've been hearing for the for the longest time he's like no man you can't do that man I said I'm not gonna stay here and be mistreated bro just real 100 because at some point in time, I'm going to wind up putting my hands on you. And you really don't want that because you scared of me putting my hands on you right now. So why don't I just go and do my own thing? See, that's the beauty of it. That's when you know your power. You don't want me gone. You just want to take advantage of me being here. You don't want to do right by me, but you do want to take, you do want to take the opportunities that my presence in this country gives you you don't want to be stripped of that hell we've been trying to get away for y'all for years ages what happened when we try and run yeah see that whole mindset slaves was trying to leave they masters back then masters didn't want to leave master talked all the trash in the world but at the end of the day the master did not want the slave to leave you know why because the master knew how important the slave was it's just that back then, the slave knew how important it was too. More of us need to know how important we are. That's my time. I'm out. Listen, Leon County school system, that's BS. That's BS all the way across the board. Because she used the word monkeys, you got up from Appalachia Elementary School and sent her to Killar Lakes Elementary. And then on top of all of that, if she don't, if nobody sees it and nobody says anything, you ain't even doing that. That's irresponsible. That's irresponsible from our leaders who keep trying to tell our children to do better. Actually, no, that mindset alone should have got her sat down. That mindset alone should have had her apologize. That mindset alone should have had her go through mandatory racial sensitivity training. That's what that mindset should have got. But instead of doing all that, what y'all did was y'all showed exactly what it is. A white person can say what they want to say all damn day long and y'all going to do exactly what y'all need to do to gloss it over the damn rug. But when somebody snap on y'all, you have the audacity to get in your damn feelings. That's BS, Leon County school system. That's BS. That's BS. Hell, what 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 did she need to do? Did she need to say something anti-Semitic to get to get the proper response? Did she need to insult the Jewish community to get the proper response? Because that what you gave was not the proper response. That's my time. I'm out. Peace.